Yeah, welcome back. My name is Victor Kun. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to solve this app not install problem. Okay, in one of the video I recorded was how to install premium or pro app with mojelo.com. Okay, so after that, I had a lot of questions like this ones. Okay, I was asked what happened that after they have installed the app, they have downloaded the apps into your device. The next thing they have is app not installed. So I want to show you how to fix that in this very tutorial. So before we get to the tutorial, so I want you to understand that there are three things. There are three things you need to understand that's making your apps not to install. Number one thing is the app you need to, there's another app you need to install in order for you to be able to install your apk file into your mobile or android device number two is the settings on your device number three is the phone pressure okay i'm going to show you the three things in this tutorial so don't go away stay till to the end of the video so that you benefit from this video so i'll be going to my screen to show you how to do that so let's get there Yeah, welcome so you know before you are able to install an apk app successfully into your android device the first thing you need to do is to first delete the one you had so let's assume you want to install this video lib so you first uninstall this one the one you had uninstall then before you go to install the new one on your device so let's download this this app now so we will click and download this app now you see that installing this app will be very easy you will not have app installed again so that is the number one thing you need to do is to uninstall the the very app you had on your device before trying to install the new one number one then the number two things that you need to do is to install this apk installer apk installer so this is the very one that i use and this is the best so go to google play store and type apk installer so make sure you install this on your mobile device so if you don't install this apk installer on your mobile device you will not be able to install any apk file because anytime you try installing it you you will have app not installed so after deleting the app number one installing an apk installer on your device so you can now you will now be able to install the app successfully on your device so let's try to to install this apk file on a device so do you want to install this application so we'll click on install so without uninstalling the app which is the number one thing number two thing it is installing an apk file you will not be able to install any apk file on your device so let's click on install and you see it will, it will be installed successfully because i have uninstalled the one i had before and the second thing i've installed an apk installer from i have downloaded an apk installer on the google play store you see it's it, the app has been able to install successfully so i can now open my app so let's move thing let's move to the next thing that will hinder your app from getting installed on your android device so we've talked about the two things that you need to do number one thing is to uninstall the app you had in your device number two is to install an apk installer on google play store so let's move to the setting so go to your phone settings click on settings so once you click on settings you go to app management some device are called app management whereas some device are called apps and notifications so click on app on notification or app management based on the type of device that you are using so once you click on your app management or apps and notification based on the device you're using so the next thing you need to do is to click on see all so if your device 
is not having is having app management so what you need to do is to click on apps okay so scroll down to where you have google services so once you click apps or see or based on the type of device you are using so click to google services so you see have the same things just that the language the language change based on the device so go to so click on google play services so once you click on google play services so go to storage so click on your storage so once you click on storage so click on play cage the two devices whether you have is app on notification or app management are all the same thing so once you go there click on click cage so once you click on play cage go back go back to the second one which is google play store so once you click go to storage so click on play cage so once you finish clicking on play cage so go back go back so after that click on special app access so once you click on special app access so scroll down to where you have unknown install unknown apps so once you go to install unknown app make sure you keep an option on so that to allow an unknown app to be installed into your mobile device so the last settings that we need to do is to go to our google play store so go to your google play store click on your profile on your right hand above so go to play protect so once you click on play, Pro play protect click on settings so make sure you keep this this option of scan apps with play protect so keep the option of so keep the option of then can go back and reboot your device and you see you'll be able to install your apk file successful okay so thank you for staying to the end of the video so if you like video like this make sure you subscribe to my channel and check the description to the link of this video you see many amazing links to other of my videos you would like to watch thank you and see you in the next video bye bye